Hey everybody, Doug here again at CES. We are here at Nikon's booth. They've got a lot of new toys. This is Mark who's here to show me all the new products they brought this year. So we're gonna start with the D780, I believe. This yep. is the newest DSLR. Yep. Uh, what can you tell me about it? Well, we just launched this uh, and it's a highly anticipated uh, follow-up camera to the D750. Right. And the D750 being the most popular full-frame DSLR we ever had. So a huge amount of uh, people really uh, uh, hoping out for it, yeah. So really excited to bring this to market. What can I tell you about it? Well, it's a um, 24 megapixel full-frame camera. The body is redesigned. We don't longer have the uh, speed light, the built-in speed light, but the weather ceiling is improved because of that, because it's more robust. And I guess I would describe it, if you took some of the best features from the D850 and from the new mirrorless Z6, you kind of have like a combination of the two um, uh, cameras in the D750 with the new D780. What are some of the, I'm actually curious, what are some of the mirrorless features that were brought in? Of course, so the video features on this uh, product are really powerful. Um, and it's all due to the sensor, the 24 megapixel sensor, having built-in phase detection autofocus. Oh, so it's got 273 point autofocus system that covers 90% vertical and horizontal. And for video, that's gonna be amazing, yes. right? So you, you could be using F-mount lenses and getting incredible autofocus performance on a DSLR. Um, that's a big, big advantage. Other features such as 4K and slow motion HD video, you also have now in a DSLR as well. And that's exciting um, for anyone who's doing video and stills. Amazing. All right, what else you got to tell me about the 780? So, a few other things on this camera. Over the D750, you know, we still have a tilting LCD, but now it's a full touch capacitive. You can actually touch, pinch the zoom, and all that. You can even touch the focus in live view. Um, we've got two SD cards slots, that's the UHS-2, so the faster format. The battery life on this is amazing. It's over uh, 2,200 shots out of one battery. Same battery as the, the uh, uh, D850. Uh, it's a Yen Yel 15 uh, battery that you can use on this. Um, ISO performance is amazing, and you can shoot now up to seven frames per second when you're using it kind of like through the optical viewfinder, but if you flip it to live view, you can actually get 12 frames per second at full resolution. And um, you can also have uh, silent shooting, totally silent at full resolution. And if you're in live view, you can also have high detection autofocus. So that's also a first for DSLR. But it's really an incredible product, and we're excited to bring it at CES. Cool, cool. Um, so I see also, uh, you know, we were talking DSLR. We have an F-mount lens here. Yeah. So let's, what's, uh, what are we looking at here? So, you know, Nikon is known for its optics, and we're really excited about it. Uh, we launched the 180 to 400, I don't know if you remember, uh, last year, and it was really, really well received. Professionals love it. We now have a 120 to 300. This is a fixed f2.8 lens uh, and the quality is outstanding it's almost like using uh, prime lens that's how sharp this lens is it gives you a huge range um, and for indoor sports particularly it's going to be a really great performer when you can't carry two or three lenses and you need one lens to do the majority of it this is the lens that the pro is going to choose oh yeah it, it feels it feels like what it is <laughs> We can talk about that later. It looks a bit smaller than I expect, though, I gotta say. Yeah. Very nice. Anything new with uh, vibration reduction on, the, on yeah. these? You can do, uh, it has uh, five stops of VR uh, on this, on this uh, lens. And um, it also has uh, short uh, uh, wavelength refractive elements. Uh, so that actually improves uh, correction for chromatic aberration as well. So it's, it's going to deliver a sharper image across the frame and eliminate uh, aberrations that kind of tend to deteriorate the image quality. Uh, so it's a really great, great lens to bring to the line and professionals particularly are going to gravitate towards it. I think, actually I know, uh, the demand already in terms of the, how it's doing just in the few hours it's been live, it's very, very good. So it's exciting to have this uh, out in the public. Cool. So let's talk mirrorless now. Yep. What do we have here? So speaking of highly anticipated lenses, 70 to 200, maybe the number what one. The yeah. And for a professional, anyone doing weddings or events, um, things like concert photography, they've been dying to get this lens in their hands. It's nice and light, beautifully matched to the Z platform. 
Um, five stops of VR that is capable with when you're using it, uh, of course, with the Z system. Uh, the Z system has a built-in VR uh, system into it, into the body. So you can maximize the, uh, the they VR. They work in, in tandem, yes. So you have uh, five stops of VR and five axes as well. Um, it's super quiet. It's got a, a dual motor for autofocus. Uh, so it's actually faster and quieter and, you know, delivers really, really sharp results very, very quickly. Amazing. You're filling out that, that mirrorless lineup, so that's good. I'm sure a lot of photographers will appreciate that. The 24 to 70 uh, has been super well received. This just continues that. Um, and, you know, personally, I can't wait until the 14 to 24 because that's going to complete the trifecta of 14 to 24, uh, 24 to 70 to 7200. That's coming soon. But uh, for now, the 7200, the holy grail for a lot of photographers, so we're excited to have it here. Very nice. And we have one more product, I believe. Yeah. Now, this is, I always am interested about these because I always see people showing the moon yeah. with this line. Might as well be a telescope because yeah. everyone uses it. To <laughs> so what is products. this we have here? So this is the new P950, and it's got an 83x zoom. Now, get this. It's a 24 millimeter to 2,000 millimeter, right? And it's amazing. Like, you can see how light it is. If you were to do this with a, a, a larger sensor or an interchangeable lens camera, the camera would be this yeah. big, if, uh, if not bigger. So really exciting to have this. This camera now, um, uh, over the P900, it can also shoot RAW, which is great. Yep. So RAW NRW files you can shoot with this, so you can actually have a little bit more flexibility in post. Uh, it's got a hot shoe, so you can connect accessories to it. And um, it could do 4K as well, which the, the uh, previous model could not. Is it a new sensor at all? Um, it is the same sensor uh, as the previous one, but we're just able to get more. Right, right, right. So when can people expect to see all of these in stores? So the uh, 780, you can expect it in uh, January. And everything else, February time frame, you'll be able to pick one up in the stores. Awesome. And I'm guessing people can learn more at Nikon? Nikon and also B&H Photo. Thank you, uh, thank you. you know, yeah, check it out. All right, Mark. Thank you so much for showing me all the goodies here. We are at Nikon's booth at CES. I'm Doug with B&H, and I'll see you next time.